Well, I think just about everyone in the United States is aware of the publicity stunt last week involving AOC and the Met Gala. And for anyone unfamiliar, AOC is a New York congresswoman. You know, New York City's popular, that's why she's popular. And the Met Gala is a glitz and glam celebrity event. Her dress said, tax the rich, ironically, at an event that costs $35,000 to attend with a dress from a custom designer that has to cost at least, you know, five, six, seven, who knows how many thousands of dollars to make the dress. Oh, hats over here, come on! For the local thing. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, you go first, you go first. Sandra. One, no, oh, Sandra. come on, come on. designer she started uh, her her you know she started her label right here in New York City with $3,500 in her pocket a few years ago and we asked what does it mean to be two working-class women showing up to the Met and so we decided that we're gonna do it tax the rich and do you have a message for New York we've been through so much it is so I'm just so proud and so thankful to our city for holding it down over this very difficult year, for making sure that we're getting vaccinated so that we can have this opportunity in this moment, for getting tested, everything that it needs to take. We are so close, we're right at this moment, and so we just need to make sure that, that we encourage anyone else uh, that, that needs to to get vaccinated or their second shot or whatever it may be. So. What's even more ironic is that just today, articles came out stating the designer of the dress owes thousands in unpaid taxes and refused to pay interns that worked for their company. And of course, anything hitting mainstream news does so for a reason they want you to see it. Are they taunting us? Do they want to test how complacent people are? How unwilling we are to step up and do something while being mocked right to our faces. And these people love playing stupid to make the average person feel smart. Oh no, the Met Gala costs $30,000 to attend. Yeah, what are you going to do about it besides sit behind your keyboard and get censored by Big Brother? The masking of the servant class. Ugly images from the Met Gala are now commonplace. While AOC's revolutionary and subversive socialist gown generated buzz, the normalization of maskless elites attended by faceless servants is grotesque. Now that article has dozens of examples of political figures and celebrities disobeying the rules, which doesn't seem to matter. The psychological warfare operation enacted on the public through the parasitical control of the media and news has people in a state of fear where they don't even realize what's happening before their eyes. They are in denial. They are telling you the truth though, what they really want, a class of servants to obey and worship them. Now, right as this is happening, the parasitical elite are seeking more control over your finances and taxes. President Biden's American Families Plan will require financial institutions to report personal transactions of $600 or more to the Internal Revenue Service. Currently, financial institutions report your data after you make a transaction of $10,000 or more. Look. They don't play by their own rules. They don't pay taxes. So it's redundant. It's why the reporter who released the Panama Papers was killed in a car bombing incident. The Panama Papers, exposing the rogue offshore finance industry, a giant leak of more than 11.5 million financial and legal records, exposes a system that enables crime, corruption, and wrongdoing, hidden by secretive offshore companies. So yeah. The parasitical elite class mock you on mainstream media, audit every single transaction over $600, then hide their own money in offshore accounts. I mean, if this doesn't scare people about living in a social credit system where the rulers are exempt from the rules, I don't know what will. Better not buy that gaming computer for your son or you won't be able to eat steak on Fridays while AOC is seeing how much caviar fits into her gigantic ass jaw. And uh, this gets me thinking about how you know, all these evil people are kind of imprisoned on this planet and they're trying to save as much money for their future generations as possible uh, using the average people as their servants to do so. 
Uh, but that's a whole different story that I can only speculate on. So thank you guys for joining me. If you can please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. So if you guys could please share this on any social media that you have access to, and also check out frank to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.